seven Democrats have signed up for a chance to run against U.S. Rep. Peter Roskam, a Republican who has represented the West and Northwest suburbs for more than 10 years and has helped shape and sell his party's controversial overhaul of the tax code. Some of the Democratic contenders in the March primary are new to politics. Some serve in local government, and some are veterans of former President Barack Obama's campaigns. They include three attorneys, an engineer, a bookstore owner, a former congressional aide and a former Obama White House intern. Some candidates have made cancer or another personal health crisis part of their pitches to voters, taking aim at the House Republican vote to repeal Obamacare. The highest government office holder in the lot is on the Naperville City Council. The Democrats scramble to take on a sitting congressman who has won by comfortable margins in recent contests has been set off by last year's election results. In Roscombe's 6th Congressional District, Democrat Hillary Clinton prevailed over Republican President Donald Trump by 7 percentage points. And Trump's losing margin was higher in only eight other GOP-held congressional districts nationwide. The 6th District includes parts of Elgin, Naperville, Wheaton and other places in DuPage, Kane, Lake, McHenry and Cook Counties. Roscombe says he's ready for his rivals. He says he'll campaign on Republican tax rewrite and that his 2018 race reminds him of his challenges in 2006, when Democrats gained a net 30 House seats to take control of the chamber. Overcoming that wave led to his first win, beating future U.S. Sen. Tammy Duckworth for the seat he has held since. He prevailed then in a midterm election while Republican President George W. Bush was in office. I don't underestimate anybody who puts their name on the ballot, and I don't underestimate the environment, Roscombe said. This is not unfamiliar territory to me. It feels like 2006 the Democrat who runs against Roscombe next year will emerge from the crowded primary. Among the contenders is Kelly Mazeski, a member of the Barrington Hills Plan Commission and breast cancer survivor who got a high-profile boost by making the front page of the New York Times, announcing her bid the day of the House voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act. She lost an Illinois Senate race to Republican State Sen. Dan McConkie last year and says she's motivated by the health care fight. She said she fought invasive ductal carcinoma beginning in 2014 and after surgery, chemotherapy and radiation, completed treatment in June 2015. I knew how important health care was for me and for my family, Mazeski said. She was the top fundraiser among the Roscom challengers as of the most recent campaign reports and has won endorsements from Emily's List and two Illinois House Democrats, January Schakowsky and Cherie Bustos. Meanwhile, Attorney Carol Cheney is a former district chief of staff to Democratic Rep. Bill Foster of Naperville, and both he and U.S. Rep. Robin Kelly of Madison have endorsed her. Another primary contender is attorney and kidney cancer survivor Amanda Howland of Lake Zurich, who lost the 2016 race against Roscombe by 18 percentage points.